the sort of cut off point of the book, the last sleeve in it is the, the cover of Joy Division's Love Will Tear Us Apart. Um, you're obviously sort of shading into the post punk era by uh, putting stuff like that in there. Is there scope for another book that concentrates on that kind of period, that subsequent post punk period, or does it just become too diffuse in terms of design, in terms of ideas? Uh, <laughs> we could have Planet Earth by Duran Duran, couldn't we? <laughs> <laughs> but there, I mean, do you, do you think. I don't, that, I don't think there is. Uh, well, they're not, it's not that they're not as good. They become something different. You know, it was quite uh, when we first started, we couldn't quite work out what year to end. Yes. And you either go well, you know, June '76 to December '76, or you go, you could go 1983-ish. But when you when you stick them all together after um, roughly after Joy Division, I don't know why, Love It Has Park, uh, they sort of become different. They become something. They're sort of um, I don't know whether they're aspiring to be something different, maybe trying to be more pop even, um, but they, they don't quite seem to fit. But also, you know, you have the, you have the start of new pop, you have the, you know, but I mean, I remember that the kind of independent aesthetic was kind of dying on its feet around 1981, 82, and people were starting to think, wouldn't it be great if we got into the top 40? So a lot of the previously independent groups actually either signed to majors or, um, all started making glossy records. I mean, a very good example is Orange Juice, um, who are a great band, um, but that's what they did. Um, and, you know, suddenly the sleeves get very glossy and very kind of, um, you know, they had a sleeve by um, Eric Watson, who later did the Pet Shop Boys, who's a very, you know, and it, suddenly it was very kind of high glossy, smash hits, pop values, which is something very different. But I mean, the first. First punk records are also majors, aren't you know, classes. So it's a slightly more, it's a slightly complicated, um, slightly complicated what punk actually is. Um, yeah, I think it's more the fact that it changes at this point rather than it becomes sells out where it was real before, because obviously it, a lot of them had sold out in ex, to an extent in the first place. Yeah. 